Welcome back to another annual update of this Moso bamboo I started just three years ago from a single seat in my basement. It is now the beginning of May 2018 in Northeast Ohio and the new shoots are just beginning to break ground. So what you're seeing now is actually only growth from last year. So before you click away, you will get to see this year's growth in just a few months from now at the end of this video. But before we do that, I wanted to mention about uh, how much of a beating this other bamboo here took from this past winter. Uh, you can clearly see the moso is still very healthy looking compared to the incense bamboo, which is over here, uh, which is actually a lot more cold tolerant. So let's travel back in time uh, to December actually and talk about what I did to accomplish this. Wow, this is exactly how I remember December was. <laughs> uh, so anyways, I wanted to travel back in time here and kind of talk about what I did to protect my uh, moso bamboo here in the wintertime. And uh, this is probably the last year I'm actually gonna do this uh, as far as building something around it to protect it. Um, but I kind of want to talk about what I did. So in case you're interested in growing bamboo or at least a, a bamboo that's less tolerant to cold, um, how you can protect it uh, if it's small. So what I did here is I just made a simple TP, uh, three lengths of two by fours, and then I wrapped it with uh, just like a three and a half or four mil uh, plastic, which is like a drop cloth you'd, you'd buy if you're like a painter or something. Um, and then it's mostly all sealed except for about the bottom quarter of the entire TP. I cut little slots in just to allow it some air to get in for ventilation. And the top is actually not completely covered either. It has like a little hood over it to allow the air to come out the top. So it has a little bit of air circulation. Um, and you can see actually in the video here that maybe you can see a little bit, there's actually a little bit of condensation forming inside there, which is good because you kind of want it to stay moist. You don't want it to dry out completely, um, but you don't want it to be so wet to where it's actually causing it to rot or, or leaf rot or anything like that. So um, it's actually working out pretty well so far. And uh, there's another TP behind this one, which is covering the Vivax bamboo. I'm just covering that one for its first winter because I want to make sure it gets established uh, um, so it doesn't die off because a little bit of damage goes a long way in the progress of growth. So that one's also being protected. Now what I actually did here to keep it warm when it gets actually too cold, because the plastic's only going to insulate so much, uh, because sometimes around here in Ohio, Northeast Ohio, it does get down into single digits in some cases. Uh, usually not for very long, but it does do that. So uh, I needed a source of heat. So this is actually a tip from another YouTuber that I took. Uh, Steve Lau, I believe. Uh, it'll be in, like, in the link below in the description for, for his channel. Um, what I actually did is I, I first wrapped uh, the bundle of uh, canes up uh, with a twine, which is kind of like wrapping a Christmas tree before you put it on top of your car to take it home. Um, so it's wrapped with that into a bundle, and then on the outside of that I wrapped uh, two strands of 25-foot C9 Christmas lights incandescent, uh, which is right around 200 watts or so give or take. I'm not sure uh, right now what the actual wattage is, but it's around 200. Um, and then the other strand goes to the other TP behind it, which is just one strand of 25. Uh, and then to actually power this on, I have, actually have an extension cord ran to my house, or I should say to my light pole, which is in my backyard, which has a power outlet on it. And that runs to this, and there's an inline thermostat I got from Amazon. And this inline thermostat is really good because um, you can set it to, to come on between a certain temperature range, all the way down to like negative 40 degrees if, it, if you needed that. Um, and it's sitting in a, in, a, in a bin inside of this teepee, and there's the extension cords coming off of that. And I have it actually set to come on at 12 degrees because I didn't want it to come on uh, you know, when it's like 20 degrees because it's very common for it to be 20 degrees. I want it to come on less frequently. But just above to where it gets in the single digits, because once it gets in the single digits, that's when the bamboo will start to experience some kind of effects. Uh, so I have it set to come on at 12 and go off at 18. The time that it's actually on at 12 degrees, I already tested this, is actually about 11 minutes. And then it went off and it was off for about 25 minutes. So it actually is holding a, a considerable amount of heat inside of this teepee, which is good. Um, so it's not constantly on. So let's go ahead back into the future here and see what's going on. All right, it is now June, and this bamboo has put out new shoots that have grown to 12 feet tall with three quarter inch diameter canes. It's actually pretty amazing considering it looked just like this two years ago and was all grown from a single seed. Now, if you want to follow along, I've included the link to this entire playlist in the description below, as well as a link for the inline thermostat and other info on how to grow bamboo. So that's it for this year's update. 
We'll see you next time.